Hello and welcome back everyone, it's the PC Noob here with another episode of my Minecraft Let's Play series. Today, I've got a lot to show you guys, a little bit to showcase. Uh, as you can see out this window, I've done a lot of work around the pig farm. Uh, added a new barn in, I fixed all the pens up, extended the pens a little bit just to include the barn there. And I got this house to show you guys. Uh, I haven't furnished it yet, and I might do that this episode. Um, I've just been in the groove lately, building a lot. And I came up with this little ditty. And I'm pretty proud of it. Uh, the roof... The roof I'm not so great with. Uh, it turned out well, but there's parts that are just like, huh? Uh, not sure what I was doing, but you know. It turned out pretty good, so I'm going to decorate this up probably today. I don't know what that patch is about. Uh, fix some of these weirdness in the roof. Uh, furnish it a bit. I'm not going to put anything too modern in here. I'm not going to try and put a TV or anything like that. That'd be really cool here, actually. Um, I might put a fireplace at some point, but uh, not today. I need more resources for that. I gathered up a few things like some bookshelves, paintings, iron blocks, and stuff like that. I'm gonna probably do. Oh. Yeah, I got a little extra iron for an iron door, so I can do like a fridge. I'm gonna do a nice kitchen here. Uh, this is the entranceway. Uh, we need a better staircase. This is the entranceway. This is gonna be the kitchen. I walk through here. Um, I don't know about a table. Maybe a table here, we'll see. Uh, the upstairs, living room. Um, might put an entrance to the downstairs there, as well as an outdoor entrance to the downstairs. I'm gonna do like a cool basement, uh, bunker shelter kind of thing. Uh, this is the upstairs, and this is the master bedroom. Only one bedroom, there's only one of me, so I wish there was more. Get a lot more work done, but. Let's step outside. Uh, let's show you the outside. Make sure no, there shouldn't be any baddies around. I've lit this area up pretty good. Uh, this is the outside. It looks decent. Uh, I like this. This is really cool. Um, this is interesting. That's unique. Um, I don't really know what else to say. The outside, it's different. It's organic. It's uh, definitely me. Um, I don't really build to any pattern, anything like that. I'm definitely going to put some more trim on the outside. Uh, I'm not sure what colors yet. Uh, I don't want to overdo it with the dark oak wood. That's what the roof is made out of. But uh, I want to put like a trim underneath the windows. Um, maybe do it with a spruce wood like I did here. Uh, just to give it some depth. But I uh, definitely want some more color and interesting stuff on the outside. Might be able to do that with like a little garden here and some bushes. Uh, stuff along the side. Probably some trees. Probably not spruce trees, but uh, different trees. Um, and I want some like different gardens in the area. Uh, I started this little pumpkin and, and melon patch here. Just to get some going. Need to fill this in. That's a danger. Um... So yeah, I want to put some of these in, maybe put a fence around it. I'm not going to do it automated like I did over at Spawn. Uh, that's more for convenience sake. This is more for design, uh, I guess. Put these as my little carrot patch until I get something serious going. Lots of piggies now. Um, lots of piggies. Got my horse here, my trusty horse. I moved all my stuff that was up there into this house. The organization in the chest there is a mess. So, yep, kind of just uh, put a lot of brown wool in, uh, brown wool carpets with torches underneath. Uh, it was a pain in the butt to make sure no grass grew in here, but I think it works. Looks good. Um, this is my barn, my little pig barn. Wanted to stay away from the quartz because I've done that already. Uh, it turned out really decent over at spawn, and I don't just want to copy that here. Uh, it would have cost me a lot in the resources. Isn't that pretty? The roof is a little wonky at the top. Um, 
go really go right up there. It's really kind of wonky, but um, yeah. So I wanted to go with like an oak wood roof and some nice trim. I think it turned out well. This is actually spruce wood logs. Uh, that's dark oak wood. Fences, oak for oak wood for the top. Little uh, birds entrance thingy. I can't remember what those are called. But uh, I have yet to decorate the inside here. Um, oh no, okay, that's the way it should be. I got some support beams, a nice little roof on the inside. I think things look nice. Uh, lots of piggies going on. I don't think we need to breed anymore at the moment. I haven't really been killing them, just breeding them. Killing the ones that are annoying or getting my way. Uh, so let's... Take a look at this. Um, there are a few things that spawn I'd like to show you guys, but if I have time at the end of the episode, I'll go over there. I'd kind of like to decorate this a little bit. So what do I need? What do I need? I need um, iron blocks, paintings. Don't know if I need ladders. Uh, we need this iron. Please and thank you. Levers. I brought some red. Yeah, redstone. Uh, lamps over. How many wool? Um, we have wool over here. Yep, white wool. Let's grab some of these little bits of wood, see what we can do with that. Got carpeting, uh, more furnaces, or a furnace. Let's bring some more of these little bits in for furniture and stuff. Um, we'll do like the oak leaves uh, later. Actually, I'll do the paintings later too. I want to get some of the basics down, and I really want to get the kitchen done. Let's bring trap doors with me. So let's take a look at the kitchen first. First thing we need is the refrigerator. Uh, do I have redstone with me? Please tell me. One piece of redstone. Ah, uh, I'd really like to build a dispenser. Not a dispenser, um, dropper? Inside a fridge. I think that'd be really cool. Just trying to find a good area. We do it like here. Let's build the iron door first. Six blocks like that. Grab this. And we plot this here. And we put that like that. We'll have the um, dropper here. So we just need some sort of button or something to open this. I think we could probably put a button there, but that doesn't make sense. Uh, this is going to be like countertop. Um, do I have enough? We got six iron blocks left. I'll just break one of these down. Yeah. And um, let's try to make a hopper real quick. I think I have a chest laying around. Yep. And that way I can make a cool looking sink. Uh, I can't remember where I saw it. Uh, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Oh, nope. I had it there. Awesome. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Um, <laughs> not sure where to put that. Definitely don't want it here because we want to block that off. We need some solids. What kind of countertop do we want? Uh, birch will blend into the floor too much. Uh, oak wood does look kind of nice in my opinion, I think. Eh, kind of blends in in my opinion now. Now that I look at it a little bit, it's not that bad. Let's find something else. What else do we have that looks good? Redstone torches, or lamps. Uh, we could use stone bricks. It's not very hardened clay, redstone clay. Hmm. Let's take a look at this. And then if you put different pressure plates or carpets on top, that's kind of interesting. Now let's try to put the. Eh, oh, if I like that or that better. Kind of like that. Uh, let's go like that. 
probably put something different here in the corner, or maybe just leave it like that. Uh, let's look at, now you can do iron pressure plates, right? Yep. Put that there. Hmm. Like how that looks. I did a double sink, maybe? Hmm. The thing about the sink is usually you want like a tap, so if I put a lever here. Yeah. Eh, that works. Oh, I know what I'm gonna put a double sink. Let's make another hopper. Chest. And place this hopper here, and it's like kind of like a double sink, and you gotta just toss the faucet back and forth, and then we'll put a redstone block here. That looks pretty cool. It's definitely a different looking kitchen, say that. Uh, I don't know if we'll put item frames here, which I'll have to grab from home, or buttons. Um, wasn't sure where I put that. No, that doesn't open that. Let me put that there too. Cool. So we definitely need a way to open that. Let's put a stone button. Do we have stone on us? No. Let's put a stone button right next to it. Like so. Yeah. Hey, door opens the wrong way. We should open the other way, but... Yeah, that'll work. And we have the dispenser in there to shoot something out. I heard zombies. Uh, let's make a bed real quick. Okay, I got wool on me. Just like so. And like that. And crash upstairs. I want a double bed because the room is um, even here. Let's put some temporary torches up. We're going to put some redstone lamps in and try to leave them activated if possible. Uh, I'm going to need some building blocks to get up, but that's no problem. Don't know what I'm going to do for a banister on that uh, <clears throat> stairway there because not a lot of room. So that works there. Maybe put another button in there. Definitely, yeah, I think we need another crafting table on this side of the room. Um, somewhere. So let's make a crafting table quickly. Uh, I guess I didn't need to run to the crafting table to make a crafting Ah, oh, come on. Noob. Like so. Um, hmm. Either way, it's going to have stuff exposed. That don't make sense. No way you can, like, uh, deliberately change which way it's facing. No. Okay, so just leave it like so. Put a couple of countertops in there. Might put some uh, carpet on this one. Um, do I have... Yeah, I do have white wool on me. Ah, oh, I ran over here and I have... Just put a crafting table over there. Uh, so, yeah, that looks really neat, I think. Let's put it there too. I actually might knock out this pressure plate. Oh, no, 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 too much. Uh, this is an efficiency four pickaxe, so it's a beast. Um, yeah, that looks cool in my opinion. Looks decent, looks decent. Around here, I'm going to put the iron block in. Um, I think I have some black wool, so I can change up the way it looks. Black wool, black wool, black wool. Maybe I don't have black wool. Could have sworn I brought some with me. Could have sworn. Oh, I just... There we go. So put that like that. You can put... Oh, not here. Here. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, we have... Haha, learned. Button... I like buttons.
Alright, I got, got nothing to say there. <laughs> um, trying to think of what to put in the corner here. Uh, almost tempted to... Nah. I was going to put another hopper with some leaves sprouting out of it. It looks really neat, but it's too costly on the resources, I think. So just put something like this. Eh. Eh. Let's uh, switch this up. And this. Go like that. Crafting table back in. Uh, let's maybe switch it up and put black here and white. Wow. That's so cool. But, yeah, I like that. Yes, I do. Yeah, no, I think that looks decent. Uh, let's try some trap doors. Like I said, I might put, um, come back and get some picture frames to put in there. Uh, I definitely need some string to make a cool table here, so I'm not going to worry about that too much more. But, let's grab a little bit more dirt. And, hmm. Yeah, but then we can't cover up all sides. I like to cover up all the sides. Because I'd put trapdoor here, but it won't let me. So I can definitely do that. Um, it'll eliminate anything else I can put here, but that's fine. Actually, I have grass blocks, don't I? Yeah, let's try that instead. I think it'll look cooler. Don't need it. Knock this back out. Uh, put the grass blocks in. Trap door it all back up. That looks pretty neat. Probably not going to be able to tell once we get the oak leaves. Ah, uh, you can still tell. That looks cool. Uh, let's try do that here too. Looks good, looks good. Okay, so let's look at the redstone lamps now. Because I want to light this place up without needing torches all the time. I don't know if I can even put one here. Yep, looks like I can. Well, can, but I don't think I'll be able to light it up. Therein lies the problem. Hmm. So that's the roof. That's dark oak wood there. Uh, I pick that up. Must have. That's not gonna work here. Um. I can find a way to light it up. Let's try somewhere else. Could, hmm, could do something like this. Yeah, but I won't be able to light it. Well, I could. Hold on, just let me go up here. I'm gonna put carpets over some of this. So I go like this. That lights that one up. I'll light that up. Hmm. And if I put carpets over this, that could work. Um, it's kind of shady, but I think I'm gonna run back over to spawn and just grab some glowstone because this is gonna be kind of a pain. Yeah, because there's no way to lighten this up without destroying any of the outside. Um, which sucks. I don't want to rip this entire place apart. So, yeah. I'm going to go get some glowstone, and I'll be right back with you guys. 
So I just came over to spawn to grab glowstone and grab some item frames. Uh, I don't have any spare string, so I just wanted to show you guys a few things I did around here. Uh, I went ahead and put like this cool trim around these overhead lamps. Uh, just to kind of block out a bit of the redness. I thought the red was a little bit too much. But this looks a lot better. Um, I also went ahead and finished up a bit of the art gallery. I put in a couple more rows of paintings. Uh, just this and this. I started on a staircase up to the third floor. Or what I have in mind. Um, I'm thinking about extending these walls, like leaving a bit of a walkway here, and then extending these walls back for a few more paintings, but then filling in the rest of the area with maybe statues or different kind of garden ideas and stuff, indoor looking garden ideas, um, because hardened clay is very expensive on the resources. Uh, it's between the barn and that, uh, I've used up quite a bit. Uh, I'm just going to crash here quickly. Oh, Enderman. Good face. Okay, be mad at me. Um, I also put in a couple of fountains here in the background. Uh, nothing too fancy. Let's actually go over there just in case that enderman decides to attack. Nothing too fancy, just kind of spouting out, coming down. Uh, I want to put some leaves and vines and stuff like that in there, kind of spruce things up, make it look nice and colorful. I don't know where Mr. Enderman decided to go, but that's... Oh, I need a pair of shears. I'm going to shear those um, round sheep quickly. Brown wool has become quite the commodity. Oh, I don't have any shears. Okay. Uh, let's make some. Yeah, brown wool has become quite the commodity. Uh, I used up quite a bit on the pig farm to outline everything. Uh, I used brown wool to outline it to stop the spreading of the grass. And I thought, you know, brown wool kind of looks like dirt anyway. So, it's a neat little trick. That's what I've been doing with the brown carpet. Um, to cover up the torches for lighting. It kind of looks like dirt, or in some cases, uh, manure, like as I use them in the pig pen and in the cow pen. A little bit of a frame uh, dip there when I turn on the water, but that's cool. There's a lot going on here in spawn now. Um, is that it? I think that's probably it. There's a lot going on here at spawn now, so my computer's kind of chugging on it. A lot of uh, paintings. That's what happens with paintings. Get on the horse. Still looking for uh, a name for my horse. I've had a few suggestions. I think one was Elmer. Um, I don't know if that was for this horse or the other one, but good good name. Uh, I don't know if I'll use that one though. Um, it's actually the name of one of my uncles, so I don't think I'll be naming a horse after my uncle. It's a little disrespectful. I'm just going to head back over to the pig farm, and we're going to put these glowstone in. Don't know how much I can get to this episode, but we'll see. So I'll just see you guys over at the pig pen. So I made it back. Not a problem. I'm going to put these glowstone in. Um, could always probably put something over top of that to kind of cover it up. This one is going to be a little difficult, yeah, because it's going to hang down. But I could probably cover that up with some spruce uh, stairs. That'll look fine. Where else do we need this? Where else? Mm, I, I might be able to squeeze one in here. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. Um, <laughs> do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> Don't know if I could do that. The ceiling is a little nah. But don't want to go in there, okay. I like this part of the ceiling. I don't want to mess with that too much. Um, it looks 
pretty unique, pretty cool. I don't even know if I'm going to leave that there. Uh, don't have silk touch. But uh, let's knock out these torches and see how dark it is in here. Let's see, I think mobs are going to spawn in here, especially at night. I could probably try putting some lamps in, in some areas, which is something I might do. Uh, so now that I got these item frames, let's knock out these trap doors because they don't look good at all. Um, excuse me. Let's put item frames in. Like so. Did I put one there? Oh, I can do. Uh, and now I don't know what I'm going to put in there. Um, let's see. Do I have oak wood slabs? Yes, I do. Thank you. Do that. And then kind of turn it around. That kind of looks like a button, though, pretty much. Doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it does look like a button. So I could do, like, cupboards like that. Oh. If I have that, like, that kind of looks like cupboards. I like that idea. Um, don't know if I like that. Um... No, that looks silly. Could put something in here. Ooh. Neat. Cool. I like that. Uh, now let's just shuffle this around. Gather all these goodies. That back there. That there. That there. That breaks up that uh, checkered pattern there too. I didn't really like that. See, now it kind of looks like covers to me. That looks really neat. Um, yeah, I like that. And I'll leave the buttons. Because I like buttons. I uh, don't know how much more I can get to this episode. I've kind of chewed through time, chit chatting away. Did want to give a shout out to ZClassy99. Uh, He's been watching this series for a long time, um, supporting it, liking my videos, sharing it with his friends. That helps a lot. Brings in subscribers and a lot of views for me, so I really appreciate that. Um, I could probably, if I just, yeah, randomly put that in and like trap doors over top. Don't know about one there, but uh, that brightens that area up a bit. And then I'm going to just hide like a lamp. A lamp in here somewhere. Um, hmm. Don't know how I'm gonna do that without it connecting to everything. I gotta put a fence post here, but uh, let's give it a shot. Put a fence post here. I don't think here would work, but here. Don't like that. No. Got dirt block. Put this in play. <laughs> Good job. Noob. Actually, I kind of like that because I could probably put trap doors on all sides. Where did I put trap doors? You know what I mean? So if I put all these around it, it looks even more like a lamp. Um, excuse me. And even that side, for anybody who wants to know. That looks cool. Lights this area up. I mean, it's got the window anyways. It's just daytime light. Uh, if it becomes an issue, I'll hide some torches. Which I could just do. Brown carpet. Pretty easy. i just go like that. Oh, I did have brown carpet on me. There it is. Brown carpet. You just place it right on the torch like that. And then I can just kind of brown carpet all that. Hmm. That looks pretty cool, actually. I like that. Yeah, it sections it off nicely. Um, it's actually something that might continue all around. So that looks really neat. Maybe not here so much, but, uh, well, because, you yeah, know, then that looks a little awkward.
Hmm. Definitely liking that. Just, uh, it changes things up a little bit, you know? Um, adds a little bit of variety to things. Let's make some old carpets. There, there, there. Kind of squares it all off here in the living room. Provides a nice trail, a nice transition between the two. I like that. Won't be able to place any furniture there, but uh, I can always knock these out, put in bookshelves and stuff like that, which I probably will do. But uh, as far as I know, this is getting to be a bit of a long episode. So I'm going to have to wrap it up here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you click that like button. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Step to date all the latest videos. Um, next episode, I think I'm going to progress towards the Nether Fortress. Uh, I really want to get some blaze rods, uh, do the alchemy, get an ender chest, uh, do a few ender pearls so I can make the ender eye. And uh, that way I can transport goods around a lot better. i uh, quickly show you guys the back of this. Uh, the back is what I said. It kind of looks a little like therapy. doesn't know what it's doing. Um, you need to really step back to fully appreciate all this derpiness. Uh, let's go back here. Yeah, see, like, I had to kind of... It turned out pretty good, I think. It looks nice. Uh, let's just get... Yeah, you guys can soak that in for a minute. Uh, so, <laughs> follow me on Facebook and Twitter for all the latest updates on my videos and what's coming next, uh, what projects I'm working on, all the latest news. Let's step back up front here. Um, and any other things that are going on, like uh, Be The Beast server, uh, Crafitch has started a very cool Feed the Beast server that uh, me and Cyrus have been working on, uh, we're contributing to, and hoping to do some videos on it soon. Uh, but that is something you guys will have to look out for in the near future, so follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and you'll definitely be one of the first ones to know about it. So, I'm the PC Noob, this is my Minecraft Let's Play series, until next time, as always, have a good one!